Welcome back, how are you doing? So here we are at the workbench again for the final video, video number three of uh, the engines you voted for to be serviced and run. This is our final one which is the Airfix Royal Scott and she's a tender drive loco so that's a first for the um, ones we've done so far. What I will say is she is covered in dust. And that is purely from the packing material in a box. So I've changed that out already. And the first thing I'll be doing is giving her a very good dust off. And then we'll dive into the mechanism and uh, see what she needs. But as always, let's find out if she moves first of all. And yes, she does. So it's not looking like being a terrible job. In fact, really, that's remarkably smooth. Considering she's not been used for years. All right, let's move on. Dust has been absolutely incredible. But I can assure you what that says is Airfix. Um, and it's 1977, so she's quite an old girl. Hong Kong again. This is um, a time when Airfix and Mainline were really pushing the boundaries of ready to run models that we'd seen. Now yes, the mechanisms on both leave a little bit to be desired but the detail and the fine scale wheels and things would just not seem the like so they were revolutionary so there we are we're on the underside first job let's separate the loco and tender it will still be connected by wire i may desolder that so that we can work separately and uh, we'll see how we go on. opening the tender i have to remove the drawbar screw and pull out the buffer beam like so and we'll turn her over and the top should come so off. we're inside first thing we're greeted by is a great big ceramic capacitor large sort of leady type substance uh, with two screws holding down over the motor so we need to go into that deeper and see what we've got so that's the weight removed the screws are the same i'm going to set that aside in a minute and now the motor will drop through the chassis um, as you can see I am going to desolder this purely because it makes it easier on the video to not have the loco and tender attached. You don't need to desolder to do the servicing. I've temporarily marked one of the wires and one side of the motor where it went. Now that's off. As usual, you can see there's a split there. This happens quite quite commonly with the chassis. So I will clean it up and put some super glue on the underside so there's no chance of interfering with anything. That's quite a common problem. So here's our motor unit. Turn it round and we can see there are indeed bits of white grease that have been placed here and there. Now, I don't know why, but inside there is a very strange gear arrangement and I'm loath to take it apart but there is that mucky grease there um, I don't like taking it apart because I can never quite remember or seem to put it back properly but the gears are in a filthy state there's lots of dust and muck all within them so I think what I'm going to do is carefully clean everything up We've got traction tyres there and there. Oh, actually, yeah, four traction tyres to worry about. Although well, they seem to be fixed. Um, but yes, those gears are filthy, so that is going to need a bit of work. Welcome back. You can see I've uh, been busy cleaning. I now have the gears into a reasonable state. Um, you can just see up inside the gearbox. And it's not too bad. But I'm noticing splits on the plastic everywhere, even around that bearing point there. Um, where else did I notice it? Uh, on the bits that secure the motor, uh, the, the uh, gearbox cover, they're split. Splits all over the place. 
it's quite depressing really isn't that but um, all we can do is clean and run some super glue into the into the cracks and hope that that will prevent any more cracking but what we'll do for you guys is the basic service which still needs to be done and how we get at it now this is where the brushes are and obviously that's the armature and that under there which may, may well need cleaning to get at these these are in tubes you just lever up using a flat bladed screwdriver you see that the spring is inside the cup there there we are they've come apart same for that side and that eventually just pops off not a big problem springs are things not to lose when you come to clean you need to clean inside these cups as well um, just so the spring has good conductivity now the motor brushes should tap out we we'll want just need to persuade the other one to leave his home there he is a bit sticky and greasy and I can see that the commutator is a bit dirty so we need to clean up the motor brushes it's going to be simple IPA and the cloth that they're on the problem is to get at the commutator properly would involve undoing these screws and the whole lot draws out now we've already established that these um, sockets of screws are going into a split and also that gearbox is a bugger so I'm wondering if I can clean through those holes using a comp bud and IPA certainly don't like doing that normally spraying IPA straight in but to disassemble this to disassemble this poor old thing all right what I'm doing I've folded up some uh, kitchen towel and stuck it into the hole where I sprayed the IPA and then just using the bottom of the armature I'm rotating it and I can see that it is cleaning it just occasionally push that in and maybe even hold it down with your fingers carefully rotate so that the face of the commutator is being cleaned cool it's certainly well worth it I'll do the other one off camera save time alrighty excuse the hand held so I've cleaned the commutator face using that method and as you might now be able to see it's not too bad you're actually looking through my magnifying lamp through the camera um, and I think that this is a compromise I'm not 100% happy but as I say to dismantle this completely would remain removing the wheels to release these gears because they're holding this in place and the compromise is with all these splitting fixings it's just not worth doing a full strip down I think you'll probably agree model of this age uh, and we know that she does work so you know cleaning the brushes and that should, should improve things anyway so what I'm going to do now is clean the brushes and springs and the cups and then reassemble and then we'll look at lubricating um, and trying to stabilize some of those fixings right so I've spent some time stabilizing these splits with super glue and clamps and it does look like it's taken it so that's good uh, the brushes are back in a bit fiddly but um, you, you can do it stand the spring on top of the brush in the socket and then probably using your fingers is best bring the cup down and push it home firmly quite a tight snap fit um, there it is. Um, I've got in the vise here the tender chassis which is the, 
these mounting points were all split and it's very gently being held whilst the super glue hardens which can be some time these days not so super as it used to be yeah, a little bit depressed really I mean I suppose it's very old but that sort of nylon-y plastic in it it deteriorates and I know from having worked on my Airfix 4F that uh, the loco body will have suffered as well so everything we're going to do today with this will be minimal invasion because the less you take apart the less risk there is of things crumbling away when it comes to lubricant Laval 106 the grease is absolutely the um, lubricant of choice very small drop particularly in the transition between those two tiny little gears there uh, both sides not forgetting the axles motor bearing um, you can get access to the internal gears you can actually see them and um, Lebel 102 then the gear oil is appropriate for them so I've started work on the um, engine itself loco and I don't know if you can actually see if I scroll in here um, she's had such a lot of use that the plating has worn off on her driving wheels in places um, everything about this poor old girl seems to be uh, neglect and, dec and decay and I don't know why because I always looked after her well so why she's in this state I'm not quite sure um, yeah something to think about anyway the plan will be unusually IPA and cotton bud to clear out all the old lube from the coupling rods um, because they're quite stiff and it needs to be as free as possible because obviously the tender's pushing this um, I'm loath to take these screws out because I know that the sockets behind can be crumbled so they're in place at the moment so I think I'm going to leave them where they are and just lubricate the axles down the sides uh, but yeah a lot of cleaning to do but we'll see what condition we can get in. Well, against my better judgment, I have removed the loco chassis from the body because it's just impossible to get out the pickups that stick out at the top here, and they are absolutely caked in dirt and dust, so they have to be cleaned. Mercifully, the screw mounting points don't seem to have split, so that's good. So I'm now going to give it a good old clean up and uh, check the pressure on those pickups because obviously if they're too much it'll make it drag too much um, I mean that's the first for me I've discovered so much dust and dirt caked behind the wheels and things so I've had to use a high pressure air blower which is usually um, reserved for cleaning out computers and things um, just to get rid of it all it's just too much to take out by hand I really really confused as to how she's got in this state. The more I look, the more I find the um, axles, mounts and cranks are splitting. Um, and again, all I can do is put a bit of super glue in there and let it flow in. Same for both sides. What's about this? Oh, yeah, it is up the top there. Look, hidden by the rod as it goes around. I have to try and get some there, stabilize things. If this loco makes it back to the roster for full service, I'm going to be surprised to tell you now. I know it's just age and wearing and plastics give in but I have never seen such a poorly loco and I'm quite embarrassed that right well I've got it all back together and up on the track And I mean, really, despite the state the poor old girl's in, 
for a tender drive loco from the late 70s. She runs and she's a looker. I'm genuinely surprised, people. Testament to the old design, I suppose. I mean, that's quite sweetly running, that tender. But despite all the splits, and the filth that was all over her, She's all right. Whether she'll last very long, I don't know. The next time you see her will be when she's running. Thanks for watching. Bye.